1959, tens of thousands of Tibetans trekked across the mighty Himalayas, emerging from centuries of isolation into a world completely new to them. Among the thousands fleeing their homeland was 49-year-old Dilgo Kenze Rinpoche, one of the greatest Tibetan lamas of the last century. The eventual fall of Tibet in 1959 was a devastating loss. But with Kenze Rinpoche alive, we did not lose everything. Because in this one man, all of Tibet's Buddhist heritage was actually embodied. From 13 years isolated in the caves of Eastern Tibet and arriving as a refugee to becoming the spiritual advisor to the royal family of Bhutan and the teacher to His Holiness the Dalai Lama, Kensi Rinpoche's life saw many changes. Yet his behavior always remained the same. This is someone who can truly show you how to use your human life. He is, of course, as we all know, a great master. But he was, a, he was a good human being. I feel very, very grateful to him. The Yangtze, or reincarnation of Kensei Rinpoche, was born in 1993. For the students of Kensei Rinpoche, there is no difference between this young boy they see in front of them and the beloved master they lost.